Hello, hello. Are we on? Oh yeah, what up, what up, what up, everybody? I hear speakers, I hear sound coming from something. Okay, how's everyone doing? I'm gonna send fire a couple messages out to the IRL squad real quick. You gotta sit down and get your volume on, Jar. Oh, what up, Jarrell? My, can, my chat hasn't connected quite yet, so we'll be popping on. Right now, we're just kind of getting set up for a little Force Friday. Um, I'm gonna try to get this chat situation fixed up. Right now, we're gonna bring in a beat that, you know, we just started bubbling around with. And we'll start dialing it all in. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm trying to get into the chat. The chat is always the trick to make sure it's looking good. There we go. I think we're in now. I'm not quite sure, but it looks to be. So just say what up, what up. What um, up, what up, what up, what up. Sending some of these messages out to some fam. Getting the party started. How's everyone doing? How's everyone feeling for Friday? How how you feeling, Jason? I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. I'm just gonna reorient this mic a little bit. Yeah, get yourself set up. So if all of you are new to the channel, we stream here pretty much every day. We got yoga Monday, Wednesday, Friday at nine, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday at ten, and then every Monday through Friday, I am on from two to four Hawaii Standard Time, and we're taking modular journeys. We're delving into music together, and we're exploring everything mysteries of the inside, inside out, out universe, universe. <laughs> exactly um and then on friday Jaw sun is here and we do force fridays so force fridays is when we work with the machine the akai force and we have Jaw sun here building star wars legos and we talk about star wars we're not going to get into clone wars spoilers today we're going to save a whole episode right. for the new the, the new clone wars coming up i want to talk about it so bad yeah it's good it's good stuff um, I'm checking the chat. I'm still not seeing. Uh, I don't know if my chatter is working. I'm like, what should no. we do? Try to so get it uh, up and running. We got the Griff Halloran from Star Wars okay. Resistance. Okay, I think it's finally going. So, <clears throat> yeah. I had popped on a little bit ago. I'm trying to get in the habit of doing a little more pre-production before every episode instead of letting it wing to just kind of maybe set up Maybe not songs so much. I mean, it's always fun to get into some songs we're working on and listen to stuff. But really, kind of just have a nice little palette to start playing with in the beginning. Um, so on Mondays, I usually will build a patch from scratch and we'll play with that all week. And then kind of we're at the uh, patch from scratch from the beginning. So right now I got a nice little patch running in, which is just a guitar sample into the Morphogene. And we're going to start getting that going out into some other places. That's why one of his aliases is Patch Adams. Patch Adams over here. I'm definitely gonna start um, wearing a jacket. Let's get you turned up a bit, Jocelyn. Let us know how it's sounding out in the feet out there in the world. Follow us if you haven't. So, my friend that I follow um, on Instagram, W. Lee, He's an awesome dude. I'm going to shout him out right now. I don't even think he watches the channel, but he fucking, he did something on Instagram this morning with his modular out in the yard, and it was, the beat was just this nasty, grimy little Debbie hip-hop beat. So when I came in today, I was just thinking about him and that beat that I heard. So I just was like, let's carve something nasty out and see what happens, you know? What is that, Lampshade? What's up? Yo, what up, Lampshade? What are we building today, Jocelyn? I'm going to go with the Von Reg Type Rider. I like that red and black. I'm gonna have a built the last time we did the Boba Fett Slave One, and uh, that was pretty fun. I think I can do this one all in one episode, but we'll see. I'm gonna just dive right in. Oh, 
Yeah, so this is a stream where you always like to make sure make sure you got your headphones on. Sorry, Josh, I didn't want to interrupt. Uh, I was just talking to myself and talking out loud. I was, the fan was blowing the instructions. We should turn the fan off, actually. It's probably creating a little noise. I think I have you noise-gated, but... Instructions. When he was younger, she said Instructions. And then I would be like, Teddy and Skrexkins? Yeah, now we'll start making some nasty, uh... So right now, as far as the kick drum that we're hearing that has all of these little, um, instances that are changing a little bit into it, which will even infect it a little more... What we're doing is, we're triggering it, the trigger, and what you're hearing from the Zulair Repetitor is our root kick drum. But then, the grids, which is another rhythm generation device, we're just sending rhythmic hits and triggers over to the various parts of the Basimilis as to give our kick drum a really nice, crunchy, changing flavor. And just depending on where you patch it, I think I've got it patched in the spread and the decay, so we're getting, the from where we have it marked, tighter and more tight kicks, and then the fold and morph, we can just get that really nasty. Uh. So that plonking downward sound. Oh my golly. Let's see if we can get these other things going. Matt LaPlonk. Now a lot of the bouncingness that's going, bouncingness, a lot of the bouncingness that's happening is we've, we're sending a lot of stuff through this. So that rhythm, a lot of the rhythm right now is being purely generated out of the Pamela's new workout which is just I have different divisions of time going and multiplying around in various places to give us different um, rhythm structures all with some sort of multiplication or divided relation to each other. Less space farts. Let's tighten those space farts down. Thanks, Danny. Thank you. Let's get that kick nice and wide. Let's bring in a couple other things. I think I was tinkering with a couple other ideas in here. Oh yeah. This is, I could see Pagano. This music could be on Pagano from Fallen Order. Decided to get deep into some grimy, grimy. Oh, let's take that. Yeah, that giant space. Yeah, the space of Juana, that's uh, Pagano, Bogano, Pagano, anybody? Oh, sorry guys, sorry. We want to enjoy oh, those. Pagano. Yeah. How do you pronounce that? Uh, Lampshade Turdnado?
that little secret on the Bagano when you first learn the force push and you have to like push that ball into that little socket like from the outside of the fence like in the, on the outside of that gate. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I love going, I like how they, the Metroidvania nature of going back. Yeah, once you have the skills, skill tree updated. It's Frog Road. Frog and Toad. Bombad. That's a nice little bass line. This one Bombad bass line. <laughs> so I do have to say about Clone Wars though, that it makes watching the prequels like much more you enjoyable. You like those Koki frogs? Oh man. I've been saving those uh, um, Clone Wars episodes. Saving them. Saving them. I'm just saying the whole Clone Wars in general yeah. makes watching like the prequels way more enjoyable, I think. Oh, hell yeah. Like, it fills out fun. Like, like the, the relationship between Anakin and Obi-Wan is way more dynamic and like you really see and like get a like, feel for them. I feel like the characters in like Clone Wars are almost better than any of the new ones. Like, it's because it's they have seasons to develop them up so yeah, much. Yeah, seven seasons. And they, they have like 20 something episodes per season. Is it? <laughs> and the Clone Wars only got better and better as time has gone on too. I still want to watch it in order. That's still something I want to do. Planning on doing that. So yeah, those Koki frogs by the way, that's a ring modulator where I just have two different times coming in and affecting and then a note value going in. And then I'm sending that into a delay and that delay is pinging. So we're, that's how we're kind of getting that little Koki frog sound. We could bring their... We could change their rhythm if we wanted. The rhythm. Just a little bit. Pretty easily by what we did is one of our main rhythm generating devices right now. We just double timed one of the clocks in. So we still have some of our things that are going on in that halftime. Now we can start getting some of these more interesting no values going on. Oh yeah, the spicy cantina. How's the day, Neff? Now we can get that bass line in and make it kind of nasty, I bet. I like this. I like where you going with this, buddy. I think I shifted keys, though. I got to get us in tune. Mm. 
we'll have to hand tune this one. He likes to hand tune a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, we just out a little bit, but now I think we're in. Night Rider. We're like Night Rider of oh, Star actually, Wars right now. Let's Night Rider that by giving that little bass line a little bit of a like a little sixteenth note, just uh, a nice little eighth as a tip. There you go. Let's do eighth notes. I really can't handle. I don't like the arp on the the force as much as as much as I like the arp on that. So and that is a mode sub 37. I kind of want a beer now. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna let this come around and cycle. We're gonna record that in just straight, and then we'll go over here and we'll chop it all up live with the machine. So I go to one. Oh. Over here, we're gonna sync this other machine up. Oh, we're losing it. We're losing it. Tighten it up. I think I'll just tighten that sample real quick. Damn. That's some That's baller ass it. got to adjust that it was a bad poorly recorded sample people that's why it keeps lighting itself off that's why we're working with the force on Fridays to get better with it right we're gonna do it again right now no no not right now not right now I totally threw myself off right there Lock that on, it feels off to me. It's like, I need beer for the rest of my life. Too much bouncing. We got that needs to be simple without the arc on it. I think sometimes, you know, we get ahead of ourselves. We get riding into these places and then. Did he have all his teeth? The guy that was telling you the world was ending? Hippie County, California. Whatever, man. It's also like Hippie County, Hawaii, too. We got a lot of that here, too. Sounds like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> man, this sounds pretty funny. Nightmare music. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare music. Boom. 
<laughs> yeah, a total of maybe 12. <laughs> of course, we should have actually, we should have made bets to see how many teeth we thought he had. Oddly enough, it's like the less teeth you have, the more conspiracies are easy to get in. They slip through the cracks. <laughs> <laughs> It is eerie, it is eerie. It does, this feels like... You would go to the Mustafa system. One thing I think is interesting about the choice that they all decided to go with in Star Wars as of late is just like, when did they just decide this Emperor was kind of like the central character in all the movies and everything? You know, I mean, the Emperor is a wicked dude, but they really kind of... He's like, he turns out to be the centerpiece of the entire saga. Yeah, that's a little whack. That's a little weird, man. I think that was poor writing, to be honest. Like, poor foresight. Yeah. I don't think George had that plan. I think George, when George threw him down the fucking light shaft, I think he was dead. Are they ever going to do anything with Starkiller? I don't know. I'd like to see that. That'd be badass. I think I would like to see if they did more movies in the next trilogy. It would be nice if they went back to the Old Republic. It would be really, really cool to see some Old Republic shit. And just take us like, you know, it takes place in a long, a long time ago in a galaxy far away. Now it'll take place a long, long time ago in a galaxy far away. <laughs> it's over, Anakin. I've got the toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Duh! Man, those little grains are really, really, really good. We're gonna change some stuff around because we do have a nice little palette going on. Vegan zombies like grains. It's a little hot in here. It is a bit warm today. How's the Lego coming along back there? I'm plowing through. I'm almost done with bag one. Stack one. We can put some hacks here. I don't know, I don't know, I'm not liking that. Things I do like though, I'm, I still like our little plonker going on here, so let's actually, let's just get in. Keep that plonker plonking. I just felt like a, like a dark ambient place today. Just, I don't know, just like I said, the beat I heard earlier that my bro was making, it was just some grimy ass fucking trip hop shit. And I was like, oh, that shit's nasty. I like that. Nasty, mate. gonna kind of get a little twisty we're gonna try to dig into something new just kind of building off the, the whiff the whiff and cuff link of this I'm gonna swap out for our snare drum get a little twisty shout out to Bent Weensley shout out
Smith and Dental Works. You have extra pieces, you know, you just get something. Do Legos always give you all these little extra pieces? They, I, I figured out why they did that. Well, this is one of the reasons I've heard. I can't say that I figured it out, but um, sometimes in a package, if they have a little package already set up for another set and it happens to have all the pieces required for a next another set, they just put that package in and it actually saves money than building a whole new like system to separate or sort them from what I understand. That's why there's always a couple bags with a few extra little pieces that are even totally random sometimes. I read that or saw it. I read and saw it. I was informed by that. I think I could find it again too. I always thought they just put like the little pieces that you would lose the, the most easiest. I completely agree, Valerie Maui, 100%. Thanks for popping in. Hope you're doing good. Um, yeah, well, it was we... lazy, completely lazy. It showed that they didn't have a plot, that they didn't have anything planned out. And if they did, Rian Johnson cut it in half with Kylo Ren's lightsaber at the end of episode <laughs> The Last Jedi. I don't think Kylo Ren should have died. Man, I, I did, I will say, say the new trilogy, best part, man, Kylo Ren's arc was legit, 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 legit. Yeah, and fucking homie did, did such a good job. Like when he becomes Ben Solo again, his whole like demeanor and essence and like energy on camera and everything, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool in, in this, this opinion. Okay, now let's get some other, some... Mm, we won't use that guy. Man, I love how Lego take shape. They just like, you don't even know what you're building sometimes. You're like, what is this? Where could this possibly be? Oh wait, that's some dope shit. This one came with two figures too. I will say this, it's a size, wait, which one? Which one? This How one. many little fi little figurine fellas? Man, our minifigs are getting out of control. We have an awesome Lego minifig collection of little minifigs. We're going to take a picture of the wall on it. This is has Major Von Reg, another General yeah, Leia. Yeah, it was, but it was BS. So we have a couple General Leia's now. Yeah. We have Kaz. Kaz is on this one. And we have Bucket. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, we can so get Force Ghost Kylo in in post canon stuff for sure. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Yeah, for in like comics and cartoons. Maybe he helps Rey train the next order of Jedi through cool. his Force Ghostingness. I also thought the end of Rise of Skywalker was like such a it was such a Jedi throwback where Luke's leaning over and sees you know Obi Wan and Yoda and and Vader and Anakin and then. Um, at the end, she's on Tatooine, and Luke and Leia are there, like this old Uncle Owen and that fucking Baru. Like, why weren't they there? They live there. I don't know. I didn't like that either. Oh, that's a good idea, Neff. That's a good idea. Maybe we should do that. We'll do that in the next. Yeah. We'll do that next time. That's cool. That's a good idea. We'll definitely, definitely do that. We'll have surprise. a few to pick, pick, pick from. Surprise! Surprise! Awesome! Awesome!
I don't like those straight eighth notes. I like that, I like that. Check that, that I don't like that. I like that. Oh, then I want to get in there. Now we're gonna start just having fun with just this nice little. I'm not as good. At, I don't. I don't really make music that much. I could do some rapping maybe one of these days. He can make more music than he says he can. Give him a page of instructions. He has to do something. He has to perform tricks for our amusement to get pages for the next Lego instructions. He's a special guest, not a monkey, people. Dab for each page. I know he likes that idea. I'm done. If you guys didn't watch one of the most epic stories in all of Instagram history on 420, Joss Sun, um, uh, Joss on totally, what was it, 43 dabs? 43 dabs, yeah. What gonna, kind of dabs were they though? Diamonds, they were diamonds and, and hash rosin. How many hours all together did it take you to get through them all? It was like a 10 hour day. 10 hour day working. I mean, I was doing other stuff at first, like in the morning, I was going a little bit slower, but then towards <laughs> the evening, I just Welcome to the party, Val. I just was smoking, smoking. I was going for 42 dabs for 420. Because I couldn't take 420 dabs, so I figured 42 was somewhat reasonable. But it was still pretty crazy. Like, I didn't think I could do it at first. But then literally, like, I'm I, a monkey, Derek. I started to have, like, hundreds of people watching me and, like, cheering me on. And, like, Noah was cheering me on. And, like, all kinds of people were cheering me on and, like, telling me I can do it. And, like, I was like, man, I think I can do it. Like, I'm going to try it. Like, I'm going to give it a good, good old college try. You did a great job, man. And then I was like, okay, I did 42. I'm just gonna do another one, like you know, like if, if <laughs> hope, we do like a Guinness Book like you gotta ramp up. You can do 420 next year. Yeah. I think you and Opie together could maybe make that a reality. That would be dope. Uh, one year for a 420, Joss Sun rolled a joint that was a quarter pound and another one that was two ounces, plus loaded, like yeah, how many different kinds of herb was in it? There was like over 200 kinds of yeah, herb in it. It was, like, it was yeah. unreal. We had to smoke it out of a bong because it was so hot to hit, you couldn't even hit it. Yeah, because it was, it was so huge. Once it got down, like, yeah. I think it was like, we had a, <laughs> he has a picture somewhere where like, it's like as big as your arm. Or as big as my arm or something. I was holding it, you were holding it. Dab per page. Dab, dab per page. Um, uh, let's yeah. dig a little more into this rhythm. Okay, I gotta focus back on the lyrics. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Dab now. You think you can hang with 43 dabs though? Yeah. Who? Who could? You I think. think Nell can I, take 43 dabs? I don't know. That's the dab fiend dab queen. I know, I know Opie could. Make me a bicycle. <laughs> You're a monkey, Derek. You're a monkey. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys. Uh, we were just talking about monkey guests uh, from Manwich. Move up, move up the chain, move up the chain. Twitch is a cool place to hang out, by the way, Valerie. Thanks for popping in. Tell your friends, it's cool. We got a lot of people popping in. We do this every day. Oh, Neff's down. Neff's down. To, Neff's down to go. I know he can hang. Yeah, 100. percent no doubt about it, bro. I know you can hang. My throat would be so toast, I wouldn't be able to talk for days. I'm gonna be honest. I think I, as far as like the the even keeled high of it, I could hang. But as far as the throat, I don't know, man. I don't know. For, that's a yeah, lot. My, that's my a lot. My throat's still a little scorched from it. It was like every 15 minutes or so. You know what was hilarious is that when I woke up on 4:20 morning, my first thing I saw was Joss on stream at 4:20 in the morning. 4:20 <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I know, everybody was like, damn, bro. I like literally just woke up for some reason, like didn't even plan it. Just woke up at four o'clock and was like, oh shit, I'm gonna stay up and smoke at 420. 
I've been having insomnia lately though because of the fucking uh, you know pandemic. Mostly just because like my sleeping schedule's off because I'm not doing that much during the day, and then I'm like staying up late watching movies and like staying up late talking on the phone and stuff, and then texting and emailing and stuff, and then all of a sudden it's like three o'clock in the morning and I'm like, oh shit. making little changes to the skeleton and stuff. The gentleman? What's the gentleman? Who's in that? So we're, as far as speaking of movies, you guys, we're gonna, we're trying to do watch alongs and you can do them and with certain lists on Amazon Prime. So if there's any movies you guys want us to stream along and do a show and sample, the list is limited. So pop on uh, Amazon and look it up and Thanks, you can see the movies. That'd be funny to do like a Next mystery the science Valerie. theater esque kind of show. What do you think about that? The what was it? Like a mystery science theater esque. Oh show yeah, we should definitely where we do just, that. Like have a couple people and just like roast the movie. Yeah, and, like, everybody here. Yeah. Yeah. So the list is limited. There's movies. There's some good ones. There's movies like Goldeneye is in there. Um, you know, Talking Head Stop Making Sense. So there is some good stuff, but there's also some stuff we could totally. I think Double Dragon is on there. We could watch the 80s movie Double Dragon which is so horrible and um we could roast it and get samples too for our music we thought it was the I thought I thought it was the whole entire Amazon Prime library I was completely mistaken I knew it was too good to be true to be honest I knew it was Does, is it is it connected to, is he the same character he was in Dazed and Confused? Is it like him older? It's like, I got older, but I didn't stay the same age. <laughs> We're gonna change it up a lot, it's gonna get nutty. It's gonna get nutty, buddy. Button. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Oh, I'll find you and friend you. You, Valerie, are you gamer? Do you game too? I know you're up there in iconic level nerd status. Uh, props to you. Super huge uh, Star Wars and Marvel fan in the house with Valerie. I haven't put any bass in, we can though. You're right. You're always you're always more bass in. I get lost in all these textures. And plus it's sometimes actually you know what? Let's let's actually build it in in here so we can actually have it together. Oh yeah, you know, I was actually that dropped today. Has anybody heard how good the reviews are? The Predator? Is that the new, 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 new? The new, new. Yeah, dude. The new, man, still. I mean, honestly, there have been a lot of sequels, but the OG Predator is still, still a good movie. It still holds up. I just it's watched, so fucking I, good, still. I just watched Alien, Aliens, and Aliens 3, too, like, like yesterday. Pretty much last night. But, um, it was fucking, it's great, it's fucking great. The oh. newest, the newest Predator movie had Keegan-Michael Key in it, and um, Tom, Tom Jane, I think, as kind of some ancillary soldier characters, kind of like in the vein of Aliens, uh, James Cameron Aliens, it's Space Marine style. It's not very good, but there's a couple funny scenes. You know what we could do, actually? We'll patch up a little bass line. That's okay. That's totally okay. You can... That's... Hey. 
that's awesome. Nothing, wanna, nothing wrong with wanting to kick back and relax. That's what's awesome is we all have our awesome ways. And we live in a fucking awesome... Yeah, the soundtrack is pretty good, dude. The soundtrack is pretty good. We live in a world with so many ways to be entertained. I mean, we definitely think it could be worse in the current situation without the internet and us all being able to hang out and watch and do and game and make music. This is crazy, man. I need to actually patch. I want to patch Adams. We need to we need to get some more proper use of our LFOs. Uh, my favorites. The new one was entertaining. Don't get me wrong. My favorite of the sequels, though, was the Robert Rodriguez sequel where they're on the planet. The one with Adrian Brody. That one I liked. I liked that one. I think we went and saw that in the theater together, yeah? I think we, I think we, we did, Junior. yeah. With Junebug. With the old Junior. With Junior. Little Junebug. Off in Colorado. We're just gonna send some LFOs over to our, um... The supporting cast in the new one was really what it was all about, Valerie. 100%. I did not like this. Spoilers. Plug your ears, everybody. Plug your ears. I think it's been long enough, but the Super Predator concept, still not my favorite. I like how they're expanding on the world of the Predator, though. Damn, we gotta go the mythology is getting deeper. Are you kidding me? I hate that when they don't tell you at first and then they like tell you afterwards and you have to build two. Oh, right, they did tell me at first. God damn it. Should have been building to it the whole time. I messed up big time. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. For sure, man, which for sure. I've still got it. I'm backed up on samples. I have been a little lazy on that front, so good, good on you. Let's, we should actually, I'm gonna go through Predator. Everybody, if you wanna go through Predator, Find the samples you like, just kind of say where they are and mark the timeline. I'll sample them up and we'll make a track out of them next week. Stick around. I think that's my favorite line, for real. And I mean, that's where the classic of all lines, even Arnold Schwarzenegger says people run up to him and say it to this day is get to the chopper. You know, AVP was okay. I think the, the first one had potential and they shortened it and made it PG-13 and that kind of killed it for me. And then the second one that took place in the town, I didn't like that one. That one was very forgettable. For me, for me. But I could give it a watch again. That would be a one to Mystery Science Theater in my opinion though. Fucked up a couple times. AVP, the comic books, holy shit! The Space Marines and all of that shit is so good. Right I feel like the movies were are still need to get there. We'll see it again though. How's it coming over there, Josh? I totally like messed up one piece, and so I had to go retake the part of this piece. And then I also didn't realize that there was I need to build two of these, and I kind of been slacking a lot of <sighs> over here on these two. The side effects of 42 dabs a couple days ago. I ain't got time to bleed. Yeah, that's a that's an incredible that's a good line. I ain't got time to bleed. Is it lethal weapon? Oh, heavy metal. We were talking about that one the other day. Yeah, the second one was really bad. No, I ain't got time to bleed. Was a uh, homie, um, Governor Ventura. And then the homie like walks out and he shoots the grenade launcher up. Lethal Weapon 1's a great movie. Oh wow, that's crazy. Alright, I'm gonna go take a quick 
bathroom break. I'll be right back. I need a drink of water and stuff. Ooh, we're getting this digging little groove happening right now. Let's shorten that a little bit. It, yeah, very. He's the governor. No, you know who is under underrated? Gary Busey from Lethal Weapon. Gary Busey was the bad guy in Lethal Weapon One. What was his name? Mr. Joshua. Mr. Joshua was a was fucking legit. And the fight with in the rain at the end. Oh, so good, so good. Lethal Weapon One. That's not to be overlooked if you haven't seen that movie. That's a great fucking '80s action movie. It's got everything. I'm too old for this shit. Right, Gary Busey? I think he's gonna buy for the beer for the evening no matter what, Valerie. Let's bring our little harmonic strings back in, but let's change them to inharmonic strings and see what happens. We're kind of in this inharmonic valley right now, so we can kind of be a little more... We'll actually have this be our low notes. <laughs> is that true? Is that true? Gary Busey, he is very 80s. I mean, also, Point Break. Remember Point Break, Gary Busey? I always like this, you know what, we're gonna throw back to the show Starship Troopers, his son Jake Busey. Whatever happened to that guy? Wait, he was in the new Predator movie too. There we go, we just tied that all the way around. He was one of the scientists. I had to tie that all the way around from Gary to Jake to the Predator all the way back. We just six degrees of Predator Nation to that shit. Oh, that's nice. Yes, Patrick Swayze was definitely in Point Break, yes man, which, but also Gary Busey was the cop, Keanu Reeves' boss. Yes, they are. Those guys are epic. Epic. Gary Busey is... That guy's a fucking... You want to say Tom Hanks is an American treasure? Gary Busey is an American treasure. Holy smokes. We've got a deep little beat going on here. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit for a minute. You know what? I haven't seen the From Dusk Till Dawn series. Back into Robert Rodriguez Predator Connection again. How is that from Dust Hill? I heard it was actually pretty good. Oh shit, I got that piece of the pie. Hey you guys, so actually, um, our great friend uh, Stan the Man from Alice in Hula Land, he um, knows we are gamers, so he actually gave us this classic 80s game called mind trap right so i looked at it and i figured it would be kind of fun to do a couple questions out of it we couldn't play the game properly but what the game is is it's a ton of logical thinking questions so let's get one out and let's see let's see what uh let's let's try one out okay so we're gonna try this right here <laughs> you're totally right, Valerie. You're totally right. I'll give it a watch. I loved, I love From Dust Till Dawn. The original From Dust Till Dawn is legit. Yeah, I love that one. Yes. Oh, I watched the Swayze, uh, Farley, Chippendale Saturday Night Live skit recently, and man, it's so cathartic now, dude, because they're both gone now. And it is, the way they work on screen together, it is so awesome. That fucking sketch, that's easily SNL legendary comedy gold right there. Yeah, I need more bass. I think you're right. Okay, real quick. I'm going to ask you guys this question. These are weird questions from some game in the 80s called Mind Trap. 
So let's shoot it out. Here's the question. Shadow and his men search the frozen tundra for escaped convict Sid Shady. Yes, <laughs> Sid Shady. We'll just call him Slim Shady. Just as they were about to give up, one of Shadow's men spotted a body. Shady was found lying dead in the snow. There were no tracks leading to or from the body. The cause of death was partially due to an unopened pack on his back. Shady did not die of thirst, hunger, or cold. What was in Shady's pack that led to his death? <laughs> or maybe a lack of a parachute. Is is he a real Busey? For real, Shreddy? Oh, Selma Hayek yeah, Selma in the heyday. Hayek. Oh my gosh. I think every Please. young man alive, holy smokes. No doubt about that. You got it. Oh, you nailed it right out the gate. That one was easier than the one I read earlier. But yes, the points to oh, his unopened parachute led to his death. Great thinking in the lateral thinking. We'll do another one in a minute. Corona. Yes. The drink, though. The drink. That's the only yeah, language we speak in this podcast, stream, right cast, now. video cast. No, just kidding. A cold brew tea right now. Parachute. Parachutes. Nice. Everybody got the parachute. Yeah, Who is this younger Busey? Is he another gen Busey generation? Yeah, I think I'm in the easy ones. Oh man. I almost made the same mistake again. So I'm a little tired. I was drinking a little bit last night. I got, I'm clicking that. I'm clicking that right now. The Sausage Castle. <laughs> the leader of the Sausage Castle. Oh my god, alleged nephew. His alleged nephew. I like that. <laughs> that is... <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> you know what I thought was hilarious? How it seemed like the, the uh, Insane Clown Posse is showing more common sense than fucking a bunch of people. They canceled all their their um their tour for the next year no you can't you really can't make that shit up and you know what when it comes to florida it becomes all that less surprising for some reason be like oh yeah that makes sense <laughs> it's the best the world we live in is great the legend cousin he's like i met him once i met him once i've been inviting him to the sausage castle for years To tighten up this darkness that we got going on down here. In fact, that might reset us a lot around. We've been kind of dipping in this little world for a minute. No, exactly. They won't risk one Juggalo's life. What is a Juggalo? What 
these guys right here. Let's put it on the thing. No, let's put it in there. Let's put it in there. Right this one's definitely more complex than I thought it would be. Who's this on? Eight and up. Damn. <laughs> Eight and up. <laughs> what what age level is this? <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Thirty-eight and up. I know you're not. I was kind of going between both of us on that one. Just even it out. Even out the difference. It is really hot. It is. It's hot. I might have to try hit it. Hit it. Hit that fan. We need the fan on, guys. Sorry if it gets a little noisy. I, might pass I don't out. think it will. How do you oscillate it? It's the Lego man. It's making him sweat. That Lego is breaking him down this week. Yeah. <laughs> Sweating in the Lego factory. You build! You build that Lego! You build now! Hell yeah, that bell buckle. Oh, Valerie, are you a Gunship fan? You a fan of the band Gunship? Sex Machine. In the, there's a music video that they have where they use the the belt, the cock belt gun. I would rock one. Come on, get it, Sex Machine! Okay, that was a good little weird world that we just wandered into. God damn it, I just fell something. Good lord. Somebody's coming. Right. Oh yeah, listen, Ty Valerie, look up the music video, um, Gunship Dark All Day. You will love every single second of it. I promise. And then all of their other videos are amazing. I'm a huge Gunship fan. I can't promote Gunship nearly enough. I dropped the base captain. I'm gonna have to get under the table. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, okay, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch from Dust Till Dawn the series. You guys have inspired me. I'm gonna load up another track. I gotta look. I gotta search for this, guys. Here, I think I. I'll, see I'll help you find it. I found it. You know what? We're not oh. gonna save that. It wasn't that special. So mind trap is apparently not a trap for anyone's mind in this group. I'm glad you all are smart. It's a trap! Man, I will say another, since it is Force Friday, RIP Admiral Akbar, you kind of got shit out in a very shitty way. I think he definitely should have had more. Shout out to Admiral Akbar. Admiral Akbar. I'll meet him at the snack bar. Um, hmm. I gotta just load something so I can load something else, actually. Because it's out of my recent loot pool. Looteous poolius. And by loot pool, I mean recent tracks that I've opened on this particular device. But this is what we were doing the other day. Bye bye, that. 
Uh-huh, hit this again. Oh, me too. Pull me pull. Pull me part two. go we got that little drum going in there oh fuck yeah machete danny trail you know what's so funny is i love robert rodriguez's interconnected world so much yeah right we just did it it just happened we're all part of it for this one
let's add a, uh, let's add a, let's solo along. Make a note. We'll tighten that bass line down. Planet Terror is legit. I love Michael Bain. Another 80s action icon. Every man.
feel that? Yeah, that's nice. I've cooled off a little bit. Like, turn the fan back on you. I'm always looking for new shapes too to play on this thing in the different scales. It's so interesting because you'll learn a shape like a fifth or a fourth, but then if you change the scales and the way the grid works, it's a different thing. So it's it's hard to create a, like a good, you gotta be conscious of your workflow, no choices. because all of their music videos are seriously amazing. Uh, the next one I would suggest watching is there's, um, the whole record Dark All Day is good, but there's one that John Carpenter does the narration and it's a claymation. It's so good, it's so good. They put different 80s cassettes in their chests and turn into the different movie icons. So you guys, check out Gunship, the music videos are top notch, top notch. I didn't have my saxophone ready today. Cause this could actually lend itself. The saxophone could lend itself pretty melodically in here. But it is practice. And Jocelyn's here. It. It's a lot easier when it's just me for in that in that matter. I think I have to say saxophone every time you say saxophone. I think you do, and I've known you a long time. We have a really nasty rhythm digging out of this machine though right now. It's like nasty. Uh. 
it's gonna be tough because it's kind of a little wonky little toony guy, so. Wonky guy. Really wonky. Big Tatanka. I think we can get something in. Okay, here we go. We're going to dial it in. See if we can lock it in there. Oh, it won't let me tap it for some reason. Okay, there we go. I was touching multiple places. shape of a TIE fighter. Starting to look like it, Scott. Oh yeah, it is. Snap. Starting to look a little bit. I like the black and red. I'm so glad it comes with Kazuto too. Kazuto!
Kind of got lost in that one as I was tweaking that little line at the end. Shift it all out. I'm pulling it down. Pull it down. We're sending the transmission. The static in there is so spacing. R2. Where's R2 when you need him? Whew. There's some really nasty little pings going on right now. I learned my lesson this time. I'm building both of them at the same time. Raise the deflector shields. <laughs> We're gonna ping that, that's the rate. That's it, they've gone at the ventilation shafts. <laughs> Open the blast shields. You cannot stop the Jedi. 
The Trade Federation were such wormy little bitches. So, oh, I'm a dada. So the sample we're using and everything we've got kind of coming out of this right now is just, um, it's a sample of my theremin. That's all it is. Every single thing is just sample off the theremin. That's hitting the Q-Pass, and then I have the Q-Pass split out into a couple different locations. I have the uh, low-pass coming into the performance mixer, and then I have that going to the uh, uh, black hole. And then I have uh, the, the, uh, the high-pass. <laughs> I lost my train of thought with the black hole uh, to over here, and then I have uh, just the main outs going into the Mimia phone. So we have a bunch of different places where we're getting modulation coming from just that one sample in various degrees of volume in and out. But the Q-Pass has it, gets it on uh, everything. Uh, the sample hits that and then it goes from the Q-Pass out into different band, uh, filter stages, uh, stages, filter locations. quiet everybody just got lost in the lost in the lost in the we got lost in the legos we made some dreamy ass sounds lost in the sauce baby i think i have seen they've done a few of those types of things i don't think i'm gonna pull out the horn i might i don't know i'm thinking about it i haven't practiced in it yet today I like to play a little before I come in raw dogging it on the sax. But I am going to bring this down. See? Just a little sample-o. It's the bubbles for sure. The way to get the bubbles is to ping the Q-Pass. So that's what we'll do. Pinging the... You're being such a ping in the Q-Pass. Ping in the Q-Pass. Ping in the pass. I must. She's always the pain in my Q-Pass. Feels like. You guys want to carry me through a raid? There it is. <laughs> Again, this janky, this janky, janky, janky. I've been thinking about hopping on Destiny. Literally. Dude, I'll raid with you if you get your character up and raid ready. I'll totally raid with you. I think some guys in here would be willing to raid with you as well. I don't even know what light level I'm at. I'm probably not even. Yeah, I'm down. I'm, I'm down. Like super low. Five, level. yeah. It gives me enough time to snack. Super low level light. Guardian Games is right now. Aww. Aww. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, Manwich doesn't really like Destiny, I don't think. He's kind of... I think he's the least fan of the group. And he's the biggest warlock lover. The biggest warlock lover of all.
I want to stream a raid. It would be pretty funny to take Josh Sung through a reach, uh, raid stream. And we have enough. He could be it on the PC too. I think we can. If he gets it on PC, he can cross account, and we can use. He can use the studio one, and I can use the house one. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Neff. I know. I know. You love warlocks as the greatest class as well. As well, I forgot. I forgot to throw that in there. I know that you are a massive warlock fanatic as well. Titan Master Base. Oh, <laughs> unfollow, unfollow. <laughs> Wizard made it up after his body. <laughs> yeah, Jawson's a titan, dude. Now, if we don't, you know, we still hang out with him. We still hang out with you. Who's been doing their bounties for the Guardian games? Not this guy. I've been leveling up my growl. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, I would definitely like to do a raid along. You should definitely tune in. It's a real, it's a lot of fun to watch. Um, I think it is. It's actually a cool experience. It's a six-man team goes into a dungeon and kicks its ass and saves the universe. Six-man team goes Saving the universe, what we do. <laughs> Titan stretch. I think Manwich posted the best cartoon, the podium cartoon with the... Titan Hunter and the Warlock, the little comic strip you posted in Discord last week. Oh my god, that shit we're having rolling. It's like the little panel where the guy's like cheering, he's like kissing the girl and taking the flowers, and then it pans out and he's on the lowest podium, <laughs> tightening out hard. <laughs> oh my gosh! Talk about some destiny shade. Oh yes, the crayon eating titans. Hey, they're doing their work. They're doing what they're putting. They're putting their time in. But I mean, isn't that what they are? Aren't they the grunts? They're like the space marines. Again, starship troopers. When they meet in the cafeteria, they don't make dumb soldiers. They don't make dumb marines. I always pick the tank guy though in any game. I'm always like the tank. Search to Dankin, to Tankin. Search the Tankin. Okay. Oh, that was so much smarter and easier and like faster. I did both of the wings at the same time instead of going back and building them. Is it done? No. But it looks good. We got one bag left, baby. Do all the bounties. I can't. I can't do it. Ah, yes. Titans. They're like the worker bees of the Destiny world. Route the drums, hang on. Can we cuss on here? 
Fucking yes, you can. Fuck yeah. The exotic LMG is worth the grind just for that. Isn't there some connection to Valus to Auric? To Auric? When he was in college, he was Valus to Barbeck. Yeah, the book uh, Starship Troopers is not even at all the same thing. Really? Not at all. Nothing. I mean, there's Space Marines, there's Johnny Rico, but it's way different. Yeah, you do have to click a mature notice to get in here, I think. Yeah, and why didn't they just do faction rallies? Because they wanted to make us Titans, Hunters, and Warlocks know what we already know, that Warlocks are the best? Yeah, I think so. It is. It's like a... I miss Future War Call. Me too, man. Those stylish motherfuckers. Fuck with Future War Call. I think we got a lot of Dead Orbit guys in here. Uh, yeah, Heinlein wrote uh, the Starship Troopers book. It's a Robert Heinlein book. Bucket! Look, we got Bucket in the house. Do you ever watch Star Wars uh, Resistance? I haven't seen Resistance yet. Fuck with, yeah. Future War Call, baby! Yeah, Future War Call for the world. Yeah, it was. It was. But you know what? Shreddy, aren't, isn't it dropping? Aren't those world drops now? Aren't all of the faction... I've dropped some armor and weapons. I know I've dropped some Future War Call weapons. Like, I'm gonna drop this weird B section in just a second. Yeah, fuck New Miner. Yeah, new monarchy. What's, What's up with that? Dio, you mean dead orbit? Dio, bo. I got bo all day in here because it's so hot. Quarantine has everyone in all sorts of new habits. I've been watching so much shit. Bye. I've been like twice a day. You raiding Manny? I did. I read it. I I'm, I'm actually forget what day it is. Play some trials this weekend. I'm down to fire off some trials. You are. You're like fucking hero protagonist, Nev. If you ever read Snow Crash, uh, in the future, the dystopia, there's just pizza delivery workers and food uh, and drink specialists, and uh, it's it's so hard to explain. Great book though, Snow Crash. Oh, you're not leaving? Okay, I'm glad you're here. Did you finish Snowcraft, Manny? I know you read it. What's that movie when they're in the train and it's going fast in the snow? Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer. Dode Piercer. Snowpiercer was legit. And they're eating like bugs and shit. They're making the poor people eat all the bugs. Shit was fucked 
Uh, and they had those little kids stuck in the compartment because they were like small, was small enough, enough to, to work fit. the crank. Oh my god, that shit was crazy. No, he, he fucks it up right at the very beginning. <laughs> You can tell that. Yeah, hell yeah. Neil Stevenson, man, he's good. I'm surprised they haven't tried to adopt any of his stuff into film yet. She read, she, she devoured, um, the King Killer Chronicles. That um, is actually, like, I won't read it. I'm gonna read it. It's on the list of things to read. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, the guy who did the director who did Snowpiercer, yeah, I've, his other movies I hear are pretty good. There was another movie featuring a train called Train to Busan that I wanted to watch. It just came out recently. Dode Piercer, a Prince Albert story. <laughs> a Prince Albert story. Everybody says that now. That's why I went right to the top of the list. And then a friend, when Danelle was back on her trip, a friend was like, you have to read this and gave her a copy of it. And she devoured them, like devoured them both. of that old Moby track is why I used it. One of the songs they used on that uh, from the soundtrack The Beach. Boon Joon Ho, yeah. I think I saw the host, actually. <laughs> Man, <what is> this? <laughs> oh, Danelle. So Danelle has been spoiling because she started looking up some fan theories on YouTube, so they started popping up in my feed as like things to watch next. Is all this like breakdown of King Killer Chronicle stuff? I'm like, you can't search that. Star 6. 
Deep Star Six. Have you ever seen Deep Star Six, Valerie? Classic 80s monster movie with the Kraken. I should say horrible 80s monster movie with the Kraken. Damn, you guys, I spilled my water. I gotta clean this up real quick. Hey, what you did, no you little jerk. No King Killer Code, no spoilers in here. didn't mean anything to me and that with that much weed I smoke I would have been like never remembered that statement in here. Yeah man it's looking fly that's it buddies that studio clean. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have Kylo Ren. I don't think we have Kylo Ren yet. We need to get his shit. We've been keeping the studio pretty clean. Um, we took the downstairs and turned it into a green screen room, Valerie. So, and now that all the bands aren't here, the studio doesn't get filthy like dirty animals are living in here. I know, man. Like I said, everybody I know has re 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 recommended that. I'm going to read it. It's the very next book on my list of books. All right. She's done, guys. Fly it on in there, man. Fly it on in there. We'll give another look around under the lit light. Man. Wow, it was a really fun stream today, you guys. We we made some pretty bizarre music and did some awesome Legos. Definitely talked the force. And Star Wars fly it in and over. Yeah. Whoa. Um, it's super fun hanging out with you guys every day. Uh, mm -hmm. Love it. We're going to definitely do a walk, walk. We're going to try to do watch throughs on Thursday. So when we figure that out, there's a list of movies. Some are bad. We should watch the bad ones and laugh and smoke off screen. Lampshade, you, uh, it is a sweet TIE fighter. You read the King Killer Chronicles? King Killer. The Lampshade. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, everybody. Follow, like, and subscribe. All the other goody goodness. Tell your friends. Really, that's the best thing you can do is bring a friend along. Bring a virtual friend to one of our virtual experiences together. Yes, I'm going to take the weekend and plan a good set of stuff for next week and kind of run a timeline. I think so, and since we do a little modular Monday... Thanks, Dope. Thank you. Uh, so we'll, when we build our patch on Monday, we'll kind of have an intention to use that as our guiding light through the week and then we'll gather samples and kind of aim to create a really solid couple tracks every week with the stuff we're getting. And then I'm also thinking maybe we should explore different genres through each week. You know, the Euro Rock is just a tool for exploration and we've been doing a lot of ambient exploration, but we could we could explore different genres and take a week to kind of explore different areas. So, you know, these are just some ideas, things to kind of keep it going, showing up every day. I do like that we repatch every week. It makes it more fun for me. I think next week I'm going to do a big focus on the SWN, this beautiful, colory guy that's always doing all of this wonderful, magical, marvelous stuff. The colors. The colors. They're wonderful. And it's a... Uh, yeah, this thing has a ton of grip of incredible, beautiful sounding things. But I haven't been able to tame the beast yet, so maybe I'll work on that over the weekend. What, can we get a vote for next week, too? Oh, yeah. Thing? By Balsack. You're reading Lost Illusions by Balsack, right, Josh? Lampshade? 
Oh, I'm gonna pick. You guys tell you actually we can all pick, but we won't let Jason know which one he's gonna build next week. Oh, okay, yeah. Like maybe I'll walk out of the room real quick. Okay, but I'm gonna put him up right here so you guys can see what we got to work with. We're going deep on the Force Friday, you guys. It's not stopping anytime soon. Lost Illusions by Ballsack. Alright, I'm out guys. With a Z. Let Come him know on. let him know which one. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for Much coming love. in. Thanks for coming in, bro. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. Oh, speaking of May 4th, May the 4th is coming up. We'll definitely be doing a fourth May the 4th. For sure. May the 4th for sure. Ball sack. I thought it was with his Z though. Ball sack. It's a whole new ball game. Oh yeah, okay, we'll do a poll. We've got the Star Wars. What is this thing called? We got a walker, the ATST Raider. We've got, oh, we did that one. We've got this little buddy, the Resistance A Wing Fighter. And we've got, actually, I should have been doing this. We've got the Black Ace TIE Interceptor. So let us know which one you and Joss on to build in the next episode of Force Friday. And we'll definitely figure out ways to incorporate some dabs into Force Friday for some fun. Um, well, everybody, it's looking like that's my time. Destiny gang, let's roll it and I'll be on in a bit and we'll fire off a raid. If I can get it set up at home, maybe we'll stream it. So, you know, if you get a notification in an hour or so, the, that's going to be us doing it. So, um, hope to see you there. And... Walker, Lego Ranger. Thanks, Shreddy. Love you too, man. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna just send this back down into time. Yeah, see y'all at eight. Don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, blah, 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 all that stuff that you need to do. You don't need to do it if you want to, though. Ooh, I think next week we'll get into effects processing and some parallel. I want to start doing some really cool techniques inside this digital board for the live experience we're having so it'll even out our levels and give us a little more of those modern techniques that make songs move. All right, everybody. Check you later.